What's up guys, Zamorak has been out for a little while now and I thought I would ask the question on my community section on YouTube for you guys, is there anything you would change and how do you guys feel about the boss in general? So, in this video, what are we going to do is take a look at that post, go through the comments, read your thoughts on it and discuss anything that you guys think maybe needs to be changed about the boss and just see how people are feeling. Now, I also put a poll on here for people to vote between 1 and 3, 4 and 6, 7 and 9 and 10 out of 10 on ranking the boss between 1 and 10. The one that was way ahead at 53% was between 7 and 9. So it seems like people are overly happy with the boss, like overall pretty happy with the boss in general. Um, but there's maybe a few things that could be changed as there is quite a few uh, other things mentioned so we're going to go through the comments see what you guys think and just sort of see whether you guys listening now agree as well if you agree or disagree with any of the points let me know in the comments down below and why and we'll get a discussion going it's interesting it won't make a difference it probably won't change the boss in any way whatsoever or anything like that but hey it's nice to just see what you guys are thinking and keep discussions going anyway if you enjoy leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go all right, so our first comment comes from Sparty Pants, and you say, I liked it at first, but now I'm kind of already over it. Phase seven is frustrating as hell. Spending five to six minutes at a time to get there, only to fail after 30 seconds is demoralizing. I'm not a fan of having to pull out every defensive measure to surviving a mechanic at only 100%. It's absurd that most people have to react to using full crib bloom, a hellhound devotion, vitality pot, and debilitate for this. The, uh, this amount of defense but utility should not be needed and it should be needed at 500 to 1000 plus. So I can completely agree with this and I know this is a massive thing. Phase 7 for a lot of people is like hitting a brick wall and I completely understand what you mean and it is very very much um, like a, a, su such a big step up. When I learned this I went from finding the, the kill of like fi 5 the the five to six minutes like you mentioned from phase one to six is is really not that hard like it, it really isn't it's it's not that difficult at all once you've picked on mechanics and it kind of becomes quite chill to do at 90 percent anyway 90 percent 99 percent and then once you jump to 100 percent that bit's still nice and easy and doesn't really make any difference whatsoever but phase seven is like throwing yourself from someone who's only done god wars one into trying to kill freaking zamorak like that's like the, the like the difference in what you get between them so for a lot of people it is a huge thing and when i was learning it like i say it took me ages i threw myself against that thing for so long and again it's kind of like telos in phase five where you get through phase four after then you get to 100 percent, and then suddenly you've got this phase five to deal with and it's so difficult to do now i still think it's kind of a good thing that you have to kill the boss and not just practice that bit over and over again but at the same time, the Zamorak phases, I feel like the, the, the first bit of Zamorak really feels a bit like not that exciting to do anymore. It was good at first and I enjoyed it and I was like, this is fine. But now it's, it's kind of like, because eh, you want to use a, a Hellhound or you want to use like full Crypt Bloom and stuff to make sure that the last phase is easier on yourself, it slows down those first phases as well. So if you have, if you could just take the, the Calgarian Demon or if you could take DPS gear, then you'd be okay. But for someone who's learning that phase, someone who's like just getting into it and someone who's maybe not a top tier PVMer, because plenty of you guys listening right now are probably thinking, it's not that hard. You're probably a better PVM than most players in the game. So you just need to look at it as the perspective from other people. Like, I don't really struggle with the, the phase 7 anymore. It hit 100%. I just don't struggle with it that much. It's it's just a simple rotation, in my opinion, now. But I know that when you're learning this, and for most people, it's so freaking difficult. Like, it's it's such a big learning step. And I completely agree with you, Sparty. I think um, it, it kind of makes the first bit kind of like a drag. And then if you're learning, you die so fast. <laughs> So it's a bit of an effort, but um, yeah, I, I agree. This is definitely something that a lot of people are having a trouble with. The next comment says, 100% absolute bummer. Never got the tier 95 throwing axes I was hoping for. <laughs> okay, so this is from Tegrity Dave. And I remember you commented on a past uh, post saying, what do you think the tier 95 weapon would be? And you were like, oh, I hope it's tier 95 throwing axes. So that's a shame. But on a serious note, amazing. I'm not great at PVM and consider myself entry to mid to high level. Uh, struggling at solo hard mode care pack. The mechanics of Zamorak took a moment to get used to, but enjoy the ease of learning after 25 engineering clear skips. At the time of this post, I'm 80 kill count, all no mode solos, and even got a bow piece. Love this boss. So this is another thing as well that's um, that is definitely a good thing about the boss, and I think, and this is kind of like another thing that throws so many people off as well, right? So early on, this boss is very beginner friendly, in my opinion. Like, but again, before phase seven is is very very beginner friendly. Normal mode can still have rare drops. Story mode can still have rare drops, and that's 90% damage reduction. I'm not sure it can have bow pieces, but I know it can have the other stuff at least because I've seen people get the drops, and it's crazy. You can definitely do that but 
as mentioned here, the, the, the mechanics get a little like time to get used to. Once you're used to them, though, it be kind of comes like be kinder. It kind of becomes something that really isn't that hard to deal with. It's a fun fight, in in my opinion, at that point until you get to the last phase and you start realizing what's what's ahead. And it, it's really like it's a great boss for beginners. So I can absolutely understand the enjoyment that you're getting from it, and I'm really glad that you are you're having a hell of a good time at, at 80 kill count. And like I say, this is all normal mode solos, so it's zero percent and rage. But you've got a bow piece. That's freaking bad. Ass. That's that's insane. It's great to see that you can put your effort in and still get drops here. That's great. However, <laughs> a lot of people are going to disagree that no mode you you got really really lucky, but I think the drop rates may be a little bit too high for Lauren Rages. We'll have to see what happens, uh, but we'll, we'll talk about that in another comment. I'm pretty sure. The next comment is from No Help for, for Iron Man. Zami has some cool new mechanics, but phase seven solos definitely need some tweaking. I'm at 580% solo at the moment. The fact that you need to deal massive damage while having your defensives nursed at the same time and have to tank a 20k plus hit, plus melee hits and bleeds in between is a bit much at 100%. That sort of difficulty would have been fine at higher rage, maybe 1k plus. So this brings us back to the same sort of thing with phase seven again, saying about how the, the, the jump is such a big jump. Like you go from it being pretty chill to phase seven being incredibly difficult straight away. Like, I mean, I get it. It's, it's meant to be the hardest boss in the game. I understand that, but I completely agree. Like it's, it's when you look at Telos, for example, you get to phase five, there's a lot of new mechanics to deal with um, and it is very difficult. However, you don't have the falling rocks uh, all over the place randomly at, at the 100 rage as you push there's more there's more mechanics to deal with in that phase also you mentioned the solos definitely need some tweaking so for example in the solos you have to kill two runes by yourself instead of just one but in the duo it's exactly the same you kill one rune each and then it makes it like way freaking easier so maybe that's just because jagex initially wanted this boss to be a group boss and not necessarily a solo one so if you want to solo it's a bit more difficult which is fine but at the same time i can understand the, the frustration with that Zamorax HP does scale down in a solo, so it would make sense if the rune did as well, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Uh, but I can completely understand the fact that, you, you know, your defensives have nerfed as well, and you got to tank this big melee, that big hit, and plus the melee hits, and the bleed as well. Like, it's so freaking easy to just get one shot in this phase. I still struggle if I get to the, the second rotation. I completely struggle with that. That's pretty much it. I am, like, at a point where I'm like, yeah, this is, this is screwed. I don't know what to do here. I'm probably dead. The next comment says it has taken into account the use of tank magic gear with animate dead and it's kind of sad that i can't range it without with serenic and ascensions because zami deals so much damage i would love to see a way for non-animate dead kills to be easier than they are okay so first things first before we jump into this comment is keep in mind guys you may be thinking you can range you can range this boss with um like serenic and just ascensions it's not that hard you may be better than the average person again it, it, it's, we just have to look at this from an average standpoint i would struggle with range here i absolutely would struggle with range here uh, so it's definitely something to consider that it just depends on the, the, the ppm but i think in um, most average most players probably will struggle with range and um just ascensions here because he does deal a lot of damage they absolutely have taken crippling into account i completely agree with you crit bloom and animate dead is definitely something you're going to want to have to push in rage nice and easy i'm pretty sure you could get like 500 percent 600 percent on range or melee with like just standard gear but it's going to be a lot more difficult than if you had like the, the magic gear like the magic gear makes it so much easier to have, like to have the, the crit bloom and animate, animate dead it feels like because they've added that to the game now already they kind of then have to make other bosses like consider it because otherwise it'll just be way overpowered right like it makes taraket completely worthless like it, it just doesn't matter but the the bosses that have come out since like zook and stuff they all seem to have taken into account the fact that crit bloom exists and so they make it way more difficult to actually deal with it with anything without crit bloom so you grab crit bloom and then it's okay but as soon as you take that off it's it's big difficult time so i completely agree you would love to see a way for non-animate dead kills to be easier than they are yes i would i would agree they even need to add something to range or uh, melee as well or maybe just let animate dead work on all three combat styles i don't know we'll have to see what they do with it but either way i completely agree magic kind of seems locked in at the moment the next comment says one point taken off only because the solo scaling is flawed as and bad design at 300 percent solo it's just as hard as 900 percent duo this is what we we're talking about before actually where in in the solo <laughs> you've got to do two runes and whereas in the duo you do one each and then you just both dps the crap out of it makes it way easier right um and this is probably true like you can probably your solo kills are way harder than they are in duo it just it's just how it is and um yeah, it, it's something that's taken into into account i mean 
I have no problem with things being more difficult. It just kind of doesn't balance. And that's a big difference. Like it probably is around about like the enraged differences are freaking huge um, where it starts getting easy. Because I, I remember doing this with Protox and we we found phase seven so freaking easy to do. And we're both, our DPS isn't like top tier DPS, both of us, but we found it a piece of cake. And in this solos again, it, you have to, if you mess up one thing, it can become, it's pretty much over. Like we were in, in the duo, we were using sunshine in the middle way by like by accident and stuff. I was accidentally using wrong ability all the time and he was using the wrong ability sometimes and we still pull it off like nice and easy because it's way easier in duo in the solo if that happened you might as well just teleport out and reset because if your rotation screwed up if you've done one thing wrong then <laughs> you're gonna have a freaking difficult time so yeah that's it is definitely a thing the last comment that we're going to include in this video is from prime soul and you say pushing doesn't seem rewarding very similar to art glaze or brackets on release so then the i don't know if you guys remember this but on the on release on that glacier it wasn't ever worth pushing a rage we didn't know this for sure but it was pretty freaking obvious that it wasn't i finished my tier 95 doing zero percent to 200 percent kills because at 250 you got the extra glacite minion remember and i really just didn't want to deal with it so i did zero percent to 200 percent and i got it within like i don't know 200 kills 200 kills i finished my tier 95 sold it for like three bill people were pushing a raise past 1000 and they were doing as much as they could and taking ages on kills thinking yeah well it's got a better drop rate up here right and they never got anything no, they just didn't and then they released the drop rates and i believe they changed them after they'd released it maybe or something i don't know it was so obvious though that it wasn't the higher in rage the better and um it kind of feels the same here a lot of people will be saying the same thing and a lot of you guys have probably heard about it as well where it seems like the best drop rate to do because of the bad luck mitigation that zamorak has is um 90 percent 99 percent i think in that way you don't have to do phase seven but because if you don't get a drop the, the game's like oh you didn't get a drop here have a stack of bad luck mitigation and then go again next time and you keep doing that and because it's faster to do 99 percent than it is to go ahead and do 100 percent or to do like like 500 percent or a thousand percent it kind of feels like pushing in rage just a little bit silly and just not really rewarding in the slightest so the only thing you're getting out of it is titles you're getting more common loot which isn't too much better now than it was uh, when it first came out you were getting 15 mil i think at like 1000 right or something like that whereas now you 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 kind of getting like i don't know six i think you guys are getting now that high up i'm not 100 sure but it's very much lower at 100 you were getting five to six mil now you're getting like two to three um, they nerfed the common drops very much so i don't know the, the, the fact of the rares is is, is much better at lower and rage as it seems because if the more kills you get the more chance you've got then i don't know it just seems a little bit silly in my opinion what do you guys think all right so that was the opinions of a few people from the comments i picked only about six because a lot of them were very much similar and the same sort of thing and rather than jumping over all the same thing over and over again i thought we'd just pick out the most common ones and stuff um but i completely agree with most of them if i'm completely honest like it's it's it is very true now a lot of them did seem quite negative personally i think this boss is great i think the bot the design of the boss is really good i think that there's a few things that could be changed for example make it so that if you push and rage higher your drop rate is better that would make sense to me maybe bad luck mitigation does doesn't work as well at lowering rages and then the higher up you go the better it works so that would work out pretty good and then also it's the crit bloom thing right you kind of feel like you're stuck on crit bloom or magic is just way better and you you know because like one cycling phase seven with a staff of armadillo makes life so much freaking easier without it it will be so much more difficult and it's definitely something you have to sort of consider as well it, the fact that crit bloom is is very much taken into account here i can understand people's frustration with the boss i absolutely can i have a few frustrations myself personally though overall i think the design of the boss the aesthetics the actual arena the boss himself they're absolutely great looks it's incredible it, it's a good boss fight and it's really well thought out it introduced some new mechanics to the game which were really good and i think the mechanic design is actually like very smart and like well thought out and i think it's great um the idea of adding the debuffs and the buffs each time you do different platforms and stuff added for good theory crafting for while it lasted and um, there's there's definitely some great design in here so i think they did a great job with the boss i think there's just a couple of things that i would agree would probably we want changing maybe the enrage in the air for the phase seven the big jump could be like lowered a little bit maybe it makes solo one rune and then once you get to 300 400 maybe solo becomes two runes again or something i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments i'd be interested remember this is an opinionated video it's just what people think and what people feel about it so you don't have to get salty this isn't going to happen this isn't going to influence the actual change of the boss or anything it's just people's things like like thoughts and opinions yours will be different from mine mine will be different from the next person's that's just the way it is anyway i hope you enjoyed if you did then do leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and other than that channel members 
thank you so much for your extra support. Your names will have been on screen right now, of course. Otherwise, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate it, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.